Hello and welcome to the video tutorial series RPG in the Box. I am Carsten and I would like to teach you how to use RPG in the Box in this video tutorial series. Together with you, we will start a first project and extend it to a finished project and then maybe add more and more functionalities within your wishes. I will show you the object editor, I will show you the map editor, the script editor, I go to scripting with you, and the whole thing should be a bit interactive, as interactive as possible. I will do some demonstrating and always give you guys a chance to follow along, and you can ask me questions in the comments that I'll try to answer, so you hopefully learn as much as you can. To get started with RPG in a box, you first need to create a new project, which you can do by clicking Create New Game. After that, you have the possibility to choose from different presets. These are pre-made game examples, so you can explore already existing projects, look at the functionalities, look at the characters, and analyze the configurations. This is very instructive and helpful. You should use that to move forward later on. Right now, we want to create our own project, which means giving it a name. In my case, Testspiel. We choose a path where we want to save it and choose the preset. For me, it should be an empty project with no content, and that's it. And now we can start. So this is the user interface of RPG in the box. First, a quick overview. At the top navigation bar, you will find the following items. Export game lets you export the game to be played later by someone who doesn't own RPG in the box. With quick play, you can start your game later if you met the requirements. You will need a startup script, a map, and a character to play with. We don't have that yet, so we're gonna just starting to building it step by step. We can use the SoundFX generator to create individual game sounds, like open crates, pick up items, and so on. Extremely helpful is the asset library, which lets you import characters, tiles, and wall pieces from all other presets by simply selecting them and then clicking import. But if you use these assets, you have to name the author. We specifically don't want to do that. We want to do everything by ourselves. With import, we can create objects from images. I will show it in one of the next episodes. With settings, you can change your menu language. To change the language, you have to restart the engine. You also can set the color schemes for all sorts of things. I have a red-green weakness, so I changed my navigation path, which I will show you in detail later. Under Help, you can find the instructions. They are very helpful and in English. Have a look at them. They are really easy, also to follow, and in principle cover many things of this series. But I want to make my own complete tutorial series. That's why I don't go further into it here. Additionally, you will find all kinds of explanation about editors, generators, and so on in the help section. Be sure to use it as a reference book. By exit to Game Manager, you can select another existing project at any time, and that's it for the top navigation. Furthermore, you will find here in the left area all components you have created. You will find the voxel editor to create objects, the map editor to create maps, the script editor to add program logic via drag and drop configuration, create dialogues, create UI, create effects, and so on, as the names guests in all topics. We will get to all of them soon. In the next step, we will create a character and a map to then create a startup script. We will continue with that in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, give me thumbs up, Stay tuned, and I would be very excited about your subscription. See you soon. Goodbye.